become one of the commonest topics. You know, if the Bible is true, where does all this climate change fit in? So it's been an interesting year since I... When did I see you last year? November, yeah, exactly. I think, wasn't it? That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Now, you're in the UK for uh, about two months, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, all October and all of November. So, yes, I'll be here and uh, they'll put our um, English website up and folks can go there and see where I'm going to be and they're most welcome to come along and ask lots more questions. Yeah. Now, we've got the contact details on the screen right now, okay. so we'll That's bring good. that up every now yeah. and again. Uh, plus, you've got some other contact details with, you know, when you're out of the country, for example, when yes. you're going back That's home right. or traveling. Uh, I've got to say, and I said it to you just a few minutes before we came on the air, that I really do appreciate the fact that you expend yourself on behalf of uh, many, many other people who have had their doubts about the biblical account of creation. And, and you have um, traveled for so many years, and, and it's not like it's round the corner. Australia is a long way away. <laughs> and I, I want to thank you. It's about you, as you. far away as you can get from everywhere, mate. It, it is. really is. Why did God, he has a sense of humor. He obviously put you down under, but he's brought you on top, mm -hmm. uh, especially for such a time as this, John. And, yes. uh, you know, let's go straight, cut the chase, go straight to the main issues. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the last 12 months, what is it that's... Um, really sort of you find yourself tackling on behalf of views that are out there the world views with regards to okay there's, there's several things Howard there's one thing that's concerned me for quite a while and that is that we live on a planet in which people think science is over there religion is over there science deals with facts Christianity and all the other that's just what you believe right just stuff you make up uh, and yet the interesting thing is of all the religions on the planet Christianity depends on the facts I mean, the New Testament says if it's not a fact that Christ rose from the dead, then your faith is a waste of time. And it says, prove all things. So one of the exciting projects we've done this year is to set aside six months to get our web museum, our online evidence museum, up and running. So how good you reach? If I hand you some fossils to yeah. show in the close-up, I'm going to show you how it? fit I am tonight. Oh, good, that's good. By reaching I'm going to hand you yep. over Great. some very exciting things here. Fantastic. And okay. here's a second one as well, because right. you can bring that up in a moment. Okay. And, I haven't uh, eaten it though. Hold the shell up so folks can have a right. good look at it. Right. Here we go. All right. All right. So it's, a, it's a beautiful shell. Hold it sideways so they can see into it now. Yeah. Uh, you recognise it's a seashell of some sort, Howard? Yes, a sea okay, urchin well, of look, some sort. It's, it's actually a nautilus. You remember Jules Verne, the yes. 20,000 Leagues Under the uh -huh. Sea? His concept of the submarine was not something we invented, but borrowed from the nautilus, which actually acts in all the same ways as our well-designed submarines do. But the exciting thing is, instead of just watching here on television with Howard trying to manipulate it and keep it on the screen, they can now go to our evidenceweb.net and they can bring it up close, they can spin it around, they can play with it, and they can learn right. that... It's a 3D object. It's a 3D website, yes. And uh, by the way, if they've only got you know, dial-up, they, sh they, they won't be able to turn it around go so to this. But if they've got broadband, then they can not only see a created website, they can see all the evidence that Charles Darwin got one thing really right. Which was? The present-day Nautilus and the fossil Nautilus, for all practical purposes, look the same. And do you know what two words Charles Darwin invented to describe that? No, tell me. Living fossil. That's and a good one. That's exactly a good Brilliant. phrase, right? Yeah. It really is. In other words, there's no evidence in the Nautiluses that they've ever evolved. Now, I've dug up some really, really impressive ones, but that's a nice television size one and beautifully polished. It is. So you can actually see how magnificent they are. But again, you know, we put this on the web so students in schools, like I was down in Charles Darwin's hometown area the other day, and we had four high school classes. Mm -hmm. And it was really good to give one of the classes a look at the fossil evidence. Because I'll be honest, being trained in geology, it was not the theology that convinced me that creation was true. I knew what the theology said, but once I sort of finish university and you put up your hand and say, but Professor, if evolution is true, where is the bit that joins the, 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 the fishes to the amphibians? And in the end, it's not there. But the amphibians, like the frog, the oldest frog we've got, do you know how you can recognize it? How? Looks like a dead frog. Okay. Uh, and so they're living fossils as well. So it's not just the faith, the imagination, the things you believe, that's the evidence for creation. It's rock solid. And that's why God expects you to believe what he said about it, 
because he was there. Darwin wasn't. Steve Jones wasn't. The directors of the Natural History Museum, they weren't. No matter what their opinion, they're in the end, they need to face up with the facts that the fossils don't show it. Now, have a look at the other fossil I handed mm -hmm. you. Yeah, okay. Now, you what have heard that? of that uh, famous Englishman, David Attenborough. You better yes. hold the, see the green one? Yes. That's a living version of the fossil that you I have on the see. rock. I see, so okay. the two there, right. The okay. two are, if, in fact, if you put the green one over the top of the white one, they'll even see it closer. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you have heard of that Englishman, David Attenborough? Uh-huh. The other TV star apart from you? Yeah, and I think right? he gets about You've 18 million a, uh, <laughs> yeah, a year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Probably more than that, actually. You may remember just a couple of years ago, he was down in Kew Gardens planting a Woolamai pine, the What's latest that? discovery in Australia. Right? A Woolamai pine? Yeah, a Woolamai pine. Uh, previously, they'd only been known in the fossils and they'd become regarded as being extinct for the last sort of, you know, X million years. And then a guy out bushwalking noticed this strange tree just sort of northwest of Sydney and it turned out to be a living Woolamai pine. Now, the one you've got in your hand, the green one, is the living one, and the fossil one, you can match them up, right? Right. In yeah. other words, if you're looking for evidence of evolution from the Woolamai pines, it's no help. But if you're looking for evidence to this question, and remember God said, come now and let us reason together. Mm -hmm. God gave us a brain. He expects us to use it. So when God says 10 times in Genesis, I made things to produce their own kind, or in verse 11, he commanded the ground to bring forth plants after their um, own kind. kind. Yes. So if you're looking for evidence that Woolamai pines have produced Woolamai pines as long as they've been here since that rock, then you've got it. It's rock solid again. So your Bible is factually true, not just imaginary or religiously be, you know, true. That's what I like about having someone like yourself, to be honest, on the program, because uh, we're not all au fait with not only just the scriptures, but there's the science side. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we're grasp, trying to grasp and grapple with the actual understanding of, of the science as well as the, the theology, uh, we get a bit lost. Well, that's why we've, you know, we, we, we sort of, if I can say it by faith, took six months off this year and put all this on the evidenceweb.net so students worldwide can see it. And, you know, all the schools are encouraging students to go to the web and until Bill Gates invents an anti-creation filter, <laughs> we'll, yes. we'll get away with yeah. it, right? Well, we have governments to do that. We have governments to do that, true. Yeah. But would you like an encouraging bit of side oh, background on do. the face Make side? my day. You see, it is interesting that I've just done a debate in Melbourne University in the philosophy department and uh, I always pray that regardless of the scientific aspects, I'll get an opportunity to tell them about the creator and not just the creation. Wow. And it was sort of funny at the end because a rabid feminist stood up and said, you know, you've got on your website, if it's not a fact that Christ rose from the dead, then you Christians are a waste of time, which is a yeah, good right. summary of what the Bible says. And I thought two things. One is... You're the evidence that Jesus has risen from the dead because I was just praying to him an hour ago asking him to make sure we had an opportunity to witness to this Jesus. So it was wide open. But do you know what else? We've been spending a lot of time this year putting all this stuff on the web for students and it's free. And you think, now, how do you pay for all this? And I'll be honest, after many years of doing this, you, you always worry, you know, where, where's the money going to exactly. come from? And uh, earlier this year, we sort of said, well, Lord, you know, we want you want us to do this. You pick up the tab because we haven't got the money. And I got a phone call from a couple and they said, can we have lunch with you? Now, in Australia, that can be a very long journey. It was six hours. <laughs> right, right? <okay. laughs> and uh, so we went and we enjoyed lunch. And they said, look, your ministries helped our church. M young men have become pastors. They're still going on. By the way, would you like one hundred thousand dollars? as an interest-free loan it. to help you. And I thought, yeah. yeah, amen. So it's not just the facts. It's the fact that mm. Jesus answers prayer as well. Without so having to beg on that? It's without having to beg. Yeah, that's Fantastic. right. So it really is a, a wonderful testimony, rock solid, faith solid. Yeah. All right. Tonight we're going to be dealing with both the side of faith because, you know, without faith it's impossible to please yep, God. That's but right. then on the other hand, without evidence it's impossible to please man. Yes, because we do have genuine 
viewers out there who struggle with the, the creation issue. And you know, I can understand that because you know, I left university